This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Fat Etron, and in this video, I'm going to check something. I've done something similar with Fat Etron before, which is to check how is the consumption in efficiency mode versus dynamic mode or whatever. What, what did I think? I check at least dynamic mode, maybe versus comfort mode. I don't remember, but I want to check today also something similar. So here we see the gear selector. You press the brake and then you pull it against you and you go into drive, but you can then toggle between dry D and S here. On the display, see that it looks like this and in S is where you have that boost available. So in this mode, you have roughly, I don't know how much it is. Is it 80% power? And here at least you have all the power available. So I've been driving in S mode and I just want to know in S mode, when you just cruise on the, on the motorway, does it increase consumption? Well, let's find out. So we are on the move now. We're just gonna head north on E6 and we will turn around at Ulausgård, but this time I'll be cruising at 80 kilometers per hour. And the reason why I drive so slow is to not get any cars in front of me because they might uh, mess up with aerodynamics and everything. So if you don't want to have any drag effect here, so most cars will just be passing me like this guy, yeah. So let's see now. So I reset the consumption numbers here and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So this time, the first test now, we do the D mode and we are in comfort mode and HVAC is set to uh, 22 degrees Celsius, nice and warm. No, but I use 22 on this car because 21 in this car is too cold. I complained about this before, came back this car two years after, they still haven't changed anything. That's why I just don't want to freeze in the car. It's uh, one degree Celsius outside after all, so. We are almost at Olavsgård, just got overtaken by a freaking truck while doing 80 kilometers per hour. Well, I think the GPS speed is 76 kilometers per hour. Well, consumption is 268 right now, all right? So let's just turn around here. It's a good enough test and the road is dry, everything, so not too many variables. Uh, yeah, let's see then. All right, round one in D mode, 224 watt hour per kilometer. Damn. All right, let's try S mode then. Round two in S mode, 224 watt hour per kilometer. Exactly the same. So there you guys have it. The reason why I tested this because I used the S mode when I did 1000 kilometer challenge. And I can already see it, that there will be people in the comment section saying that, oh Bjorn, you use the S mode, it, uh, the car consumes more energy in S mode. You should have used the D mode. It would be 10% more efficient. Yes, you have to redo the 1000 km challenge. So that's why I haven't posted 1000 km challenge yet, but I made this video. And then if I see too many of those uh, silly comments about people who haven't tested this, then I guess I'll post this video. Otherwise, we might not see this video in production. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.